مرحبا يعطيكم العافية Chapter 14 Description of Motion Motion of a puck along an air table In the previous video we defined mechanics as study of motion by finding the position, velocity and acceleration of a moving object Now, what is an air table? An air table is an apparatus that enables us to study motion in the absence of frictional forces What are the basic parts of an air table? It consists of a plane or a glass plane, a puck whose motion is to be studied, and this puck is fed by a voltage. Now to eliminate friction, the puck, the puck has a pump or carries a pump that blows air from its bottom against the surface of the table. This puck moves along this surface. As it moves, it leaves dots. These dots represent the position of the puck as it moves. Now, the time separating two consecutive dots is constant and can be adjusted. This time is this constant is called the time constant. The time uh, the puck is connected to a recording system. During its motion, it leaves irregular traces of black points on the recording paper. The time interval between two consecutive traces time constant remains constant during the experiment. هلا هيدي مش كتير مهمة إنه تعرفوها يعني أنا ما بهمني الميكانيزم للأير تيبل أو how an air table works. نحنا our objective is to study the motion of the puck. Tracing is produced by an, an electric spark between a sharp edge rod placed at the bottom of the puck and a carbon paper placed below the recording paper. هيدا المين أوبجيكتيف موشن أوف ا باك ألونج أن إير تيبل ذا فيجر بيلو شوز ذا ريكوردينج أوف ذا سكسيسيف بوزيشن أوف ا تريسر أم أوف ا باك أون أن إنكلايند إير تيبل ذا تايم كونستانت تاو إز 0.1 سكند أم 0 إز تيكن أز سبيس أند تايم ريفرنس تاو إيكوال 0.1 أز وي سيد بيفور تاو إز ا تايم سيبريتينج تو كونسيكيتيف دوتس يعني the puck leaves a dot M0 after 0.1 second it will leave another dot M1 the time separating M0 M1 is 0.1 second the time separating for example M1 M2 also 0.1 second the time separating M4 M5 is 0.1 second we notice that this puck travels a greater distance during the same time. Our objective is to answer the following questions. Question 1. Specify the shape of the trajectory described by the puck. Uh, the dots are collinear. The dots are collinear. The puck is moving along a straight line. Therefore, the trajectory described by the puck is rectilinear. وكمان مثل ما قلنا قبل نحن مش مطلوب مننا غير rectilinear motion. Motion along a straight path. هلا انا شو بعمل على طول هيدي الفيجر بتكون جيفن اند وي نيد تو فيل كوبي اند كومبليت ذيس تيبل هلا انا معبيهم بس هلا بقول لكم كيف بنعبيهم فور ايتش دوت تايم بوزيشن فيلوسيتي اند اكسلريشن هلا التايم سهل كثير اف وي ستارت فروم ام 0 وات از ذا تايم نيدد تو ريتش ام 1 تاو 0.1 سكند Time needed to reach M2 0.1 second 0.1 second 0.2 Time needed to reach M3 Tau 2 3 Elna Tau time separating two consecutive dots Tau 2 3 uh, The time needed to reach M5 Tau 2 3 4 5 Time M0 Time 0 at M0 to reach M1, we need 0.1 second. To reach M2, 0.2 second, and so on. Now the position. The position of each dot. The position mathematically is the abscissa of the dot. M0 is at the origin. It has x equals to 0. Now, x1, the abscissa of M1 is 1 centimeter. This 1 centimeter is the distance separating M0 and M1. This 2 centimeters is a distance separating M1, M2, and so on. 
remember that the abscessa or the position is taken relative to the origin the abscessa of m0 0 the abscessa of m1 is o m1 which is 1 the abscessa of m2 0 bell con matakhdu haydi 2 the abscessa of m2 is o m2 which is 2 plus 1 3 the abscessa of m3 equals to o m3 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 6 abscessa of m4 e equals o m4 يعني بدي اعمل add up لهودي كلهم فاول شغلة the abscessa of the dot i equals o m i the abscessa of m1 o m1 abscessa of x2 o m2 now بعد في عندي شغلتين اللي هن how to calculate the velocity at each point and the acceleration at each point to calculate هلا هيدي الرول مش كتير بهمني تعرفوها بس شو لازم تعرفو to calculate the instantaneous velocity at a given point we calculate the average velocity between the point before and the point after we know that the average velocity is displacement divided by time for example if we need to find v1 the instantaneous velocity at dot m1 is equal to the average velocity between the two dots m0 and m2 equals delta x by delta t delta x by delta t equals to x2 minus x0 over t2 minus t0 يعني velocity at a given dot هي x after minus x before over t after minus t before from the table x2 is equal to 3 x0 0, 0 this 10 power negative 2 is to convert x from centimeters into meters and time is already given in second therefore the s unit of velocity is meters per second خلينا ناخد for example the second one if we need to find v2 dot m2 dot before is m1 dot after is m3 therefore v2 equals to x after يعني x3 minus x before over t3 minus t before if we go back to the table if we need for example to find v2 we take x after minus x before over t after minus t before uh, last one v3 to calculate the velocity at dot m3 the velocity at the dot m3 is equal to the average between before 2 and after 4 therefore it will be x4 minus x2 over t4 minus t2 x4 and x2 from the table 10 minus 3 and now we multiply by 10 power negative 2 to convert from centimeters into meters and time t4 0.4 minus 0.2 0 0.35 meters per second and so on the last expression uh, term is acceleration similarly to calculate the acceleration at a given dot we take v after minus v before over t after minus t before for example if we need to find a2 the acceleration at dot 2 is equal to the average acceleration between the dot before 1 and the dot after 3 equals to delta v change in velocity by change in time therefore a2 is v after v3 minus v1 over t3 minus t1 we get the acceleration 1 meter per second squared هلا ما راح اعمل comment على values and what happens to v what happens to a هذا بال next chapter ان شاء الله a3 equals to the average acceleration between before 2 and 4 therefore a3 equals to v4 minus v2 over t4 minus t2 مثل ما قلت لكم our objective is to study the motion of a puck يعني this figure is given and you're asked to find position time position velocity and acceleration بتمنى منكم هذه الابليكيشن ترجعوا تحلوها عندكم لحتى ابعث لكم غيرها ويعطيكم العافيه ثانك يو